What's up traders, Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol LCID for Lucid Group. On the left hand side we have the daily time frame and on the right hand side the 30 minute intraday time frame. First things first, yes this will be an update, we talked about it just the other day with the earnings announcement here. What you'll notice is from the daily structure we certainly opened on that gap up. We filled the majority of the gap, not quite all of it but most of it and then reversed really solidly into the end of the day closing here at uh, not all time highs, right? If I scrunch up the chart you can see that all time high however you know significantly a new pivot high it's been a very very long time since we've been trading at these levels so that is noteworthy the other thing that's noteworthy is of course is the fact that closing up and over 50 30 closes this gap from in here so more importantly now we can watch for uh, intraday levels to sort of take hold if we zoom in on this section what you'll notice is there's not a whole lot of structure in this general area so now we're basically monitoring for continuation to see if we can take it back into the all-time highs closer to 63 dollars 12 cents that's the level i would pay attention to technically the all-time high is at 64 dollars and 86 cents so are we looking for upside continuation momentum continuation here absolutely if you check in with what's volume with what volume is doing there down below certainly elevated on today's session giving you confidence in the move as opposed to a lack of confidence let's take a closer look at the 30 minute intraday time frame and what i would point out is that again fairly solid day in terms of structure not only did we repair the gap underneath us or a majority of it right uh, more than 50% was filled here. When we rallied, look at where the consolidation happened into the end of the day. There was really no aggressive pullback here, certainly high and tight, and then even pushed a little bit into the end of the day. And as of right now, I mean, don't get me wrong, I can see what's happening in the post market. We're trading 58.15 by 58.20. So it's very likely we'll open on a gap up. What I would encourage us to do first, though, would just take out be to take out the fibs, come in from low to high of the day. And what you'll notice is the 38.2 is very far away. Uh, so let's just map out a couple of levels that I would deem as important before we talk about the gap that's in place. So firstly, the breakout point into the end of the day. And then secondly, the consolidation lows here closer to $53.12. So again, for support number one underneath, it's here. It's not like a major level, but this one is the one that you really want to see hold. That's kind of the line in the sand area at $53.12 based on the structure that we have here. So let's now flip on the extended hours and talk about the very likely gap that we'll be getting. Remember, a lot can happen between now and 9 30 when the bell actually rings here however let's just talk about the framework that we should be using so we want to know where the overnight high is going to be up there at 58.32 as of right now and the anticipated open it's very close so right now we're currently trading at and around 58 the whole dollar so let's just throw it on and we'll talk in terms of how this might unfold on the daily time frame so turn that off eliminate distractions and we'll take a closer look over here so uh, this is going to be interesting because as of right now, these numbers are very, very close, which is going to make this trade a bit more difficult to pull off. But if we open here, fail to take out the overnight high, basically fail to attract new buyers after we've already been on this very impressive run, then the trade technically should be a short back down through the open to fill the gap and get us into today's high of day, which let's just throw that on the chart together. That's going to be at and around, if we take out the drawing tool, $55.69. So what you'll notice is that it's it's really not an attractive short trade because you have so much support underneath you, maybe for a quick scalp, but you're not looking for a total collapse here, especially based on the volume and especially based on the structure which we discussed in the earlier part of today's video so in this instance i would just avoid trying to cherry pick the bottom until we at least fill some of the gap most of the gap or if we dip our toe into the prior day's range you have those two levels which we already pointed out from the 30 minute perspective so that's scenario number one on the gap and trap where again we fail to attract new buyers here and we roll over for a bit of a corrective move to the downside now when we get to those levels certainly be on the lookout for a reversal so look for anything that looks like a 30 minute hammer candle so things that look like this uh indecision dojis basically question mark candles that make you think right is this pullback ending can we flip long over these highs and then reattempt the overnight high and potentially get into that all-time high that's how i would think about the pullback now the flip side of the coin number two here the scenario wise would be the gap and go so if we open here never get any pullback out of the gates Look for a breakout up and over the overnight high to take us into the all-time high. Essentially, what we would be looking at would be volume to come in to really support that move higher to ensure that it's going to be a momentum style move. So if we zoom into the 30 minute, what would I look out for in terms of a number? Certainly kind of this-ish area. 
I would just play it conservative. So like eight to 10-ish million shares per 30-minute bar, it certainly doesn't have to be on par with what we saw during today's session. I mean, that was just, you know, through the roof here, 15 million plus per 30-minute bar. But I would say if eight to 10 million shares per 30-minute bar are going through, that will certainly constitute enough volume to really give us the momentum style move to take us to that all-time high. So those are my thoughts here inside of Lucid Group. We'll see if we go higher or if we fade off the open. In that case, we have those levels, those pullback areas mapped out for us. Any major collapse here, I would really just start to place more emphasis into 50, the nice psychological number. It's where we sort of sold off from this morning. And obviously that led to a breakout for higher. That's really going to wrap it up. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything new today, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.